This episode of Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Our next guests are from I3 Detroit in Ferndale, Michigan. Again, not too big of a hop, just stop jumping around inside the Midwest right now. And um, to talk to us from I3 Detroit is our good friend, Nicholas Britsky. Hi, Nick. Thanks for being Hi. on the show. So here we are. Welcome to I3 Detroit. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we have five projects to show you that we're going to give you a fantastic tour of our space. Uh, we have a lot of things to show off to you. So what we'll do is let's just get off and going. We're going to have a quick pan in the back side of our shop, and then we're going to go to our first project right over here with Eric. So this is our fantastic camera work here. This is actually done by Karen on rollerblades with a microphone stand. Sweet. Thanks, <laughs> nice. Karen, on rollerblades. All right, so keep going. We're rolling. Good. <laughs> Oh, who's that? Green. If Whoa. any of you guys are from the Midwest, that's our fire-breathing duct tape statue. That's all made of duct tape? Duct tape and a wooden frame, yeah. Very flammable. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're going to start with number one. This is Eric Morell, and he is doing um, the Chrono Tune, which is our submission to the Red Bull Contest. Uh, hi, I'm Eric, uh, and I'm on the Red Bull creation team for Acting Detroit, along with Nate, uh, Ted, who we'll meet in a moment, and uh, Roger. And for the qualifying round, uh, we made the Chrono Tune, which is a time traveling radio. Uh, instead of frequencies on the dial, they're years, and you can tune to the past or the future, and you hear audio clips from uh, that time. Um, this got us into, uh, into the competition, so we are uh, headed to New York in July, the 6th through the 10th, and we'll compete against 15 other teams uh, for fabulous prizes and fame. So, off to Nate and uh, his creation. Hey there. This is a real simple one. I think it's also the smallest thing I've packed on lately. Uh, I didn't feel like paying for or waiting for shipping of uh, an over-the-head uh, boom-style microphone Bluetooth uh, earpiece, so I took a wired one and uh, put a Bluetooth uh, module into it. I, I cracked apart an old module. And uh, inside, you can see in the uh, underneath the earpiece here, I just tucked the circuit board right in there. The battery goes on the back, and I get about five hours of talk time. How long did it take you to make that? This was about an hour or two. Oh, not this bad. was a real simple one. All right, now we're going to take it over to Ed Platt with his um, homemade snowflakes. All right, so uh, these are what I call my pen flakes. You can see them behind me. Um, they're basically uh, freehand ink and paper drawings inspired by the symmetry of snowflakes. I'll bring one up to the camera here. Um, Oh, cool. And uh, people always ask me how I get these so precise, and the secret is just I put some uh, hexagonal graph paper behind them. That's about all there is. So I do one a day, and you can follow these at uh, penplates.com. And next is uh, Karen Corbeil with her 8-bit uh, uh, color art. Yeah, I, um, a friend of a friend, I saw made like a Spider-Man about this big, and I decided I want to start making them. So I just take the sprites from the actual video games themselves. Pretty much original NES, Super Nintendo, Sega, anything that's like 8-bit, 16-bit, you get any higher than that. I don't have enough colors to make it. Um, the original plan for these was to take some of these cork boards and paint them like the original levels from the game so you could actually sit there and play the game. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, what hacker would want to just sit there and play? But uh, so this is what they look like close up. Oh, that looks great. So, yeah, super cute. <laughs> So, so, simple fun thing, we just did uh, Ann Arbor Mini Maker Fair, which Ann Arbor's about an hour west of us, and uh, pretty much everyone of all ages loved them. The kids were like, oh, that's so cool, and so they were really excited to go home and try to make them. So, so who's, the, who's the one to your right? The, the red and black looks like a jester. I don't recognize that character. That's Harley Quinn from Batman. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, man. I, I <laughs> eventually will make a Batman, but it's going to be about this big, and that's a lot of blue, so it's going to take a few days. <laughs> a lot of planning of beads. All right, let's head over to Ten Hansen, who's going to show us the ammo box uh, boom box. Hi, this is an uh, uh, ammo box uh, amplifier project. So let's start with an ammo box. Uh, this is actually Dustin White's project. Dustin couldn't be here today. But he started with an ammo box. Uh, you plug your iPod or what have you into the side of it there, and, and it's got a cool little safety switch, and it uh, decent sound out of it and um, we made this for an instructables contest which we didn't win but wow. I don't, still love the little kids in my house. The other thing that I'm working on, uh, same as the Milwaukee Makerspace guys, we are also the defendant champions of the Power Wheels Racing Series right now. Uh, so we will also be at the Detroit Maker Fair at the end of July 30th and 31st. 
Uh, the Milwaukee Makerspace guys might want to take a good look at this. Oh. This is a first place trophy that will be delivered, uh, that will be awarded uh, to us. Um, <laughs> so Milwaukee, you might want to take a good look at that. That's as close as you're ever going to get to it because it's going to come right back here to live. <laughs> After we win the race. Oh, a little smack talking here. <laughs> a little smack talking. I cannot believe it. A little healthy hackerspace competition. Yeah, that's wonderful. That. Um, so, Nick, you want to give the tour? All right, so uh, here we're going to try to do our crazy setup right here. We had about six people carrying gear. Um, we'll start up front. You can see here's one project we're going to be submitting to the Maker Fair. This is actually a trailer we completely took down to the frame, and it's going to become a portable podcasting trailer. So, we're going to have a full sound uh, proof setup in here. We're going to have tons of equipment. Uh, Maker Fair Detroit, cool. can we do the live show from there? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You, you can do the first show. Sweet. Uh, we scroll over a little bit further, you can see our welding setup. Here we have an uh, old school TIG welder. This was actually used from uh, an army establishment uh, and a naval shipyard. It actually uh, welded up battleships. What's cool is the instructions on here show how to destroy it in case if you come under enemy fire. We scroll over here, we can see our bike shop here, which is, uh, we actually have a semi-professional uh, company out of here that's trying to start a business called ProWrench. What do they do? We go over here, here is a, um, a familiar sighting from last Maker Faire in Detroit. This is the, um, some crazy German name piano. <laughs> Rolling over here, we can check out, this is our tool crib. We have probably a couple hundred tools ranging from hammers to screwdrivers to electronic tools, battery powered, lithium ion awesomeness. Okay, uh, head back, we can go to the robot section. This is where we have our first robotic team here, which was the number one rookie last year. And currently, oh, no, I'm sorry. Top secret. Oh. This is, uh, you can't see this, this is actually a power wheel, so you, we can't show you this. Oh, top secret stuff? Top oh. secret stuff. We're gonna be entering three cars this year. We got the Hoopty car, we got the top secret car, the uh, square root of negative nine, and then we have the number three car, which won last year. All right, we'll take a quick peek. Um, over here, this is our CNC lab, and you see our brand new baby CNC Bridgeport machine right here. That should be uh, up and running very soon. Over here, we have a full CNC lathe, a mini CNC router, lots of cool stuff here. Heading back to the machine and wood shop. We have a uh, full size, about a 42 inch lathe. We got another bridge port that's manual, uh, nice uh, precision drill, some smaller metal working equipment over here. Um, over on the other side, our metal working, our sheet working, our presses, all sorts of cool gear. So let's walk over to the Fab Lab really quick. How are we doing on time? Hey, we have some time, go ahead. We're fine, this all is right. the internet. We can go as long as we want. <laughs> Chasing me. Here's our boat. Built by Nate, his dad, and his brother. Uh oh. The dark <laughs> The internet might be working. Yeah, I said we, that we, and it's working we, against him. Nick, <laughs> Nick, just wait a second here. Okay, well, um, while they're getting their stuff together, I3 Detroit's in Ferndale, Michigan, and they have uh, 70 members. They were founded in 2009. They have uh, one or two classes a week on things like welding. Arduino, cross stitch, chemistry, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're interested in them, uh, get in touch on their website and. Uh, yeah, that, that's another incredible space. Yeah, I know, man. Midwest is full of those big spaces where you can just put all your big Bridgeport CNC mill right in the middle of. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome.